So you're thinking about moving to Northern Virginia, or you're thinking about moving to Florida, or you're thinking about moving from Northern Virginia to Florida and vice versa, from Florida to Northern Virginia, but you're trying to figure out whether or not it's the right fit for you. Well, in this video, we're actually gonna be comparing the two areas, both Nova and Florida. Of course, keep in mind that Florida is a big state. There's a lot of different suburbs and jurisdictions in there, so it's gonna vary. So take this uh, review with a grain of salt, whereas Northern Virginia is a little bit more of a compacted area. We're not looking at the whole state of Virginia. You know, whenever you're considering a move, it's very important to look at what factors are gonna impact your lifestyle the most, such as climate, job opportunities, the community, uh, the cost of living, so many different things, and those are exactly what we're gonna be covering in this video. The first pro for Northern Virginia, I'd say, and probably the biggest pro is the job market and the job opportunities. Here, we're heavily reliant on different sectors and it's very diversified which is great we have a lot of overseas investors that actually like to come and invest in real estate in northern virginia because the government and the military and tech companies and fortune 500 companies are located here so they know that it's a diversified job market and it's a very stable one we kind of we like to call northern virginia a bit of a bubble because whatever tends to happen in the financial markets throughout the US. Northern Virginia doesn't tend to get hit quite as hard. You know, I'm sure you've seen uh, the headlines lately with uh, the housing market, what's going on in the US. And this uh, one big misconception about uh, what's going on with the housing market right now is that every single place is being affected the same when this market upheaval is very hyper-local. Of course, there's some markets that are being heavily affected in a negative way, and there's some markets that are still thriving, and there's some markets that are very stable at the moment. In Northern Virginia, tends to be one of those markets that is very, very stable. Hence why we have so many international investors who want to invest their money into something safe. So real estate is generally uh, what is the most safe thing to invest in, then they look into the safest country to invest in, and the US is that for them. And then they look for the safest jurisdiction, the safest market to invest in. And generally speaking, uh, Northern Virginia is amongst one of the safest ones. And as I mentioned, we're very diversified in the job market here because of government contractors, military, uh, tech hubs, healthcare as well. We've had a lot of clients relocating from overseas, from places like Japan, uh, Iran, um, India, or England, uh, so many different places and of course all around the country who are looking to come to Northern Virginia to either jumpstart their career or continue in a higher position as well, whether they're doctors, nurses, lawyers, school educators. There's so many different types of people that like to relocate here because it's such a diverse uh, job market. So I'd say that's probably the biggest pro, but the next one we're gonna take a look at is the cultural and the art scene and just the uh, historical significance of Northern Virginia and the state of Virginia as a whole. As many of you know, uh, Virginia was one of the first 13 colonies. I think it was the first colony. I could be wrong there, but I'm not that big of a history buff, as you can tell. But of course, we have Jamestown and Williamsburg down south, which are historically significant landmarks over there. We have Vienna, the Battle of Vienna in uh, Fairfax County. We have the Battle of Manassas out in Manassas Park, of course. We have Old Town Alexandria, which is very historical. Mount Vernon, which is the house, uh, George Washington's house. And not to mention, we have Washington, D.C. and the world-class museums you're going to find there and so, so much more. I mean, if you're a history buff, probably gonna find yourself in this area just to come and study everything that happened in the nation's history. And I think that's one of the biggest attractions and that's one of the, the biggest things to do in the area. So there's so much to explore. You're never gonna run out of things. But the next huge pro, especially with families that like to move out here, is the education system. And I'd say it's probably neck and neck with the job opportunities. Fairfax County and Loudoun County are regarded as some of the best public school systems in the country, if not the best, to be honest with you. If you're looking for private schools, we also have really high-end private schools. We have magnet schools as well, like Thomas Jefferson High School, which is regarded to be the number one magnet school in the country almost every single year, which is fantastic. We have Langley High School, which is regarded to be one of the best high schools in the nation. And of course, we have a lot of higher education opportunities in the area, such as George Mason, which is right next to Fairfax City. We have UVA, of course, we have Virginia Tech. We have Northern Virginia Community College, which if you're looking for you know something a little bit more affordable, this is a great opportunity for your kid to either start their college career or for you to even go back to college if you wanted to. It's a lot more affordable and they have a pathway program that will connect you seamlessly into the George Mason program, transfer all of your credits. So that's something that a lot of people do take advantage of. The next pro are the outdoor activities. And if you're a big outdoorsy person, you love kayaking, swimming, uh, you love the different uh, seasons, whether 
you like to ski, uh, snowboard, swim, whatever the case is, this is you know kind of a safe haven for, for people that like outdoor activities, such as myself. If you're more of a, a, a summertime person and you like going to the beach all year round, then Florida might be better for you. We'll mention that in just a minute. But here you have pretty much every neighborhood and every suburb is gonna have kind of a walking trail or a running trail. We have one close to our neighborhood here that I take advantage of daily. Uh, take our dog for a walk, whatever the case may be. And every suburb has a little bit of a bigger park as well that you can walk to generally. You can drive there uh, if you don't want something too far away, but you want to branch out from your neighborhood. You Almost every suburb has something like that, which is awesome. Big green spaces for the kids to play, for the dog to run around, for you to hang out and have a picnic. And of course we have some uh, national uh, nature preserves as well, all around Northern Virginia, whether it's the Great Falls Park, you have the Aquaquan Wildlife Preserve, you have the Potomac River, of course, there's a ton of parks all along the Potomac River that you can take advantage of. And we have the Shenandoah National Park just about an hour away, depending on where you're living. It's about an hour to an hour and a half away, which is phenomenal. And of course, Southern Virginia is even better if you're willing to drive out five hours, eight hours even to, to the south of Virginia, you can find some of the best national parks, some of the best mountains in the whole country, in my opinion. And if you like skiing, there are some opportunities in Virginia, but I'd say the closest ones are probably in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. I like Snowshoe Mountain and stuff like that, which during the, the, the winter time, it snows a ton uh, over in those areas. So you can go skiing, snowboarding, hang out at the cabin, uh, have some snowball fights if you like that kind of stuff. So if you don't like uh, the winter time, you don't like the cold weather and the snow and everything that comes with it, then definitely stay away from Northern Virginia and uh, these areas out here on the east side, Florida is probably gonna be a better fit for you. But shifting over to some of the pros that you can find in Florida, first one, probably the, the biggest pro of the area is gonna be the climate. Of course, it's hot all year round. It's the perfect place to be if you're a beach junkie, you love, you love to be out at the beach, getting a tan in December, being able to swim whenever you want. You can step out of your house and you're not gonna have to have a coat. You can go on uh, with short sleeves. But I guess the bad thing about that is that the summer times do get pretty humid. They do get really, really hot. The only times I've been to Florida have been during the summertime when I went to Disney World, when I went to the beach, I went to go play soccer out there as well. So it can get pretty brutal. You know, I've had a lot of friends and uh, friends, family members who have decided to actually keep their home here in Northern Virginia and actually buy a house in Florida as well. So maybe during the winter time here when it's snowing, uh, a good alternative for them is to just fly out or drive down to Florida, hang out over there, and vice versa. When it's summertime in Florida, they'll end up coming back up here because it's not as hot as it is in Florida. So it's a you know it's a good balancing act if uh, you want to skip the the cold, but you also want to skip the really hot and humid summers down in Florida. Next pro, of course, like we briefly mentioned, are the beaches and the outdoor lifestyle. A lot of people who like that hot weather like to be at the beach whenever they want, whether it's November, July, whenever the case is, if you like that kind of lifestyle, being spontaneous and going to the beach whenever, then Florida is the perfect place to be. I know I have a lot of friends who actually ended up moving out to Florida because the nightlife and the lifestyle is just more vibrant. It's uh, a lot more fast paced. It's kind of like that party scene, right? If, uh, of course it depends on where in Florida you go. If you go to Miami, uh, Orlando, uh, Tampa, those are gonna be a lot more touristy attractions, a lot more nightlife activities, but there are suburbs and there are cities in Florida that are gonna provide you with more secluded areas, a little bit more country style living. So if you like that, you know, there's, it'll definitely provide, Northern Virginia does provide that as well in places like Loudoun County, Fauquier County, Prince William County as well. I think that's one of the main draws from for tourists to go out to Florida is because of the nightlife, because of the things to do, the, the white sandy beaches. And not to mention uh, the job market there is heavily reliant on tourist attractions, hence why the lifestyle and the nightlife is so vibrant there because that's their main money maker, right? Whereas here, it's the government, it's the military, tech jobs, it's healthcare like we mentioned, whereas Florida, super heavily, heavily reliant on places like Miami and Orlando like we mentioned and the nightlife that goes on in those areas to attract people from all around the world, all around the country to come and spend money in Florida. Next pro is the lower cost of living compared to Northern Virginia. Uh, the median home sale price in Nova is around $600,000, but it does depend on what a suburb you're looking into because places like Alexandria are gonna be higher than that, higher than the $600,000 mark, closer to the eight, $900,000, depending on where you're looking. Places like McLean and Great Falls are gonna be over the million dollar range. And then you have places like, uh, you know, Manassas and Prince William, which are gonna be closer to the 500,000 and some suburbs that could even go 
to the four or three hundred thousand dollars it just depends how far away you you're willing to push from dc because the further away you push the more country tends to start popping up and the lower the real estate prices tend to be but in florida again you know the median home sale price all across the state is around four hundred thousand but there's definitely suburbs that are going to be closer to the 1.1 to the 1.5 million dollars especially if you're looking for beach houses you're, you want to be closer than higher end areas you definitely find those and of course in the country you can also find a median home sale price of two hundred thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars and everything in between right so it just depends on where you're looking depends on what your uh, what lifestyle you're looking for it's so wide ranging uh, I, I definitely recommend you look into exactly what areas fit specifically to your needs your family's needs do you just want a vacation home do you want great education do you want to be close to work do you want to have great nightlife activities things to do near you well you know obviously with that comes a higher expense wherever you go whether it's florida or northern virginia the next pro we have is that florida is a huge retirement community for people all across the world we've had a lot of clients from northern virginia actually end up selling their home and moving down to florida or close to florida because of the weather the the lifestyle the golf courses the tennis courts uh, those are the main hobbies i think for retirees right and florida is one of the the, the biggest retiree states uh, I'd say in the country. Of course, there's a lot of sellers as well that like to keep their home here because they built a family, they have uh, loved ones, they have friends out here, so they don't want to give that up. So maybe they'll take out a line of credit and end up buying a house, uh, a vacation home out in Florida, and they'll just switch back and forth. Like I mentioned, from the winter time, they'll go to Florida, summertime, they'll come back up. Every two weeks, maybe they'll alternate, whatever you're comfortable with, right? But Florida, yeah, is a big retirement state. Uh, most people who retire in northern virginia don't tend to stay here they'll either go to florida they'll go to texas or they'll go to north carolina or south carolina close to the beaches close to the warm weather of course they don't want to have to deal with shoveling their patio shoveling their their, their driveway and stuff like that so those are some of the the, the more uh, popular states for retirees especially with the 55 plus communities being so heavily advertised being so prominent in florida all the amenities that they provide for you which uh, sometimes northern virginia to be honest with you is lacking we do have really great 55 plus communities here as well but sometimes they don't have as good amenities as uh, some of the 55 plus communities in florida do now we're going to look at some of the cons that you can expect in northern virginia and florida and we'll start with northern virginia and I'd, I'd say one of the biggest cons of living here uh, and a big pet peeve of a lot of the residents is the cost of living not just you know from pumping your gas to the grocery store which are generally close to the national average but maybe a little bit higher but the biggest discrepancy happens in the real estate market here there's such high demand to live in northern virginia be close to dc because it's such a transient area people are constantly coming in and out and there's just not enough inventory people like i mentioned if they retire they keep their property here and they'll buy somewhere else so there's not enough inventory moving around so prices generally tend to go up uh, a lot of people making a lot of money here so uh, even some properties going above asking price fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars and that just continuously raises the cost of living the median home sale price so that can be a big con especially for people that are on a little bit of a tighter budget but like i mentioned thankfully uh, if you have the luxury of living further away from dc then there's a ton of options where you could get a bigger bank for your buck further out. But if you really have to be close to Washington, DC, you want that shorter commute, you want to be able to step out of your property and be in the middle of everything, you gotta be ready to either be paying a lot of money for something with a lot of space, something newer, probably over the million dollar range, but if you're on a tighter budget, then you're gonna have to either settle for something smaller, something older, something that's gonna require a little bit of TLC or maybe even getting a townhome, an apartment, uh, and then eventually maybe moving out of that, renting it out, whatever the case may be. Next con we have, of course, is the traffic congestion. And we kind of alluded to this earlier because it's such a transient area and the epicenter of the job market is uh, located in the DC metro area, in the eastern part of Fairfax County, in Arlington County, Alexandria, National Harbor, Maryland, Washington DC, of course. Most people are getting funneled from all over the DC metro area into DC or close by to DC. And there's usually a little bit of a, of a bottleneck once you're trying to enter DC with all the bridges and stuff like that. So it can get pretty hectic on 50, on 66, on 495 especially. There are ways to get around the traffic, of course. We have the toll roads. Those do get expensive if you're gonna use them day in and day out. If you're working remotely and you have to go to the office once a week maybe, that makes more sense to use the toll roads to skip the traffic. Otherwise, you have the public transportation system as well, 
which is, I, I call it the main artery of Northern Virginia. It'll connect you to anything and everything in the DC metro area from Loudoun County all the way down to DC, from Manassas down to DC, from Fairfax County and Northern Virginia to Maryland even. Uh, wherever you need to go to, you're gonna have a, a way to get there, whether it's public transportation, driving, but yeah, traffic is just one of those things that you can't get around, whether it's during rush hour or the weekend traffic. Next con on this list, we have our taxes. And this kind of goes along with the cost of living. You can bracket it in the same category, pretty much. We do pay pretty high property taxes in the area, which of course nobody likes to pay taxes, but at least you can keep it in, your, in the back of your head that we have some of the best public education systems. So a lot of that money does get allocated to something that's beneficial for your children. Uh, we do have a great public transportation system. So a lot of that capital gets allocated to that. And of course, road work, expanding the freeway system to help alleviate a lot of that traffic is what some of the, the taxpayer dollars do get allocated to. So it's a give and take. Of course, nobody likes to pay taxes, but it is something that benefits everybody in Northern Virginia as well. Now looking at some of the cons that you can find in Florida, one of the most prevalent ones, I think we can all kind of guess which one it is, are the hurricanes. And that's one thing you're always gonna have to be wary of if you do go end up living in Florida, especially if you're closer to the coast, maybe if you're more inland, you don't have to worry about that as much, but that's something you're gonna wanna have to take into consideration. If you get a beach house, if you're close to the, the waters, you're gonna want home insurance. You're gonna wanna make sure that the foundation and maybe the structure that the home is built on is sturdy. And of course, you're gonna want to be wary of any time uh, and any alerts that are going to ask you to evacuate. But typically, they're pretty good at letting you know a few days or a week in advance whether or not they're expecting a big, a big rainstorm, a big thunderstorm. So from there, you know, you can take the precautions that you need to take. That is something you don't have to worry about here. Thankfully, we don't really get any major uh, natural catastrophes that happen in the area. We do get really heavy rainstorms every now and then when it gets humid during the summertime. And there's some areas that are susceptible to flooding, but thankfully we have a lot of systems in place that allow for a lot of that flooding to dissipate. So the damage is minimal. Some houses you know, do get flooded if they're older and they don't have the systems in place to help mitigate that water buildup, whether it's a sump pump, whether it's a draining system, a French drain, whatever the case may be. There are some, some houses that do get heavily affected by it, but for the most part, we're pretty good with the systems we have in place to mitigate a lot of that flooding. Next count we're gonna take a look at is the humidity levels in Florida. As I mentioned, the summers get really, really hot over there. I've had clients and relocators from Florida move up here and be so glad that, that the summers are not nearly as hot as they are in Florida. A lot of them said they couldn't even step out of the house. It was unbearable. You can imagine on a hot summer day when you open up your car door and you try to get in and you just get hit with that uh, mist of hot air and you kind of have to let it air out. In Florida, it's I imagine it's a hundred times worse. There's a couple times I've been to Florida, went to Disney World and the beach and to play soccer and stuff like that. It was brutal. It was always during the summertime. I still haven't gotten to experience it during the winter time, which I'm sure is very ideal temperatures during that time. But yeah, the summertime, very hot, very humid. But you know, not to discount the humidity here either. Like I mentioned, it does also get pretty annoyingly hot, but nowhere near what you get in Florida. And the next con is the crowded touristy areas. Like I mentioned, Florida is a big area. So if you don't want to be close to the tourists, you don't care about the lifestyle and the, the nightlife activities and the things to do and stuff like that, there's plenty of areas that are going to provide that for you, make you feel secluded, put you in the country and it's, it'll be your own personal oasis. But if you are gonna live closer to the crowded areas, just be wary that there's a ton of tourists going around, which can be frustrating for the residents because of the traffic congestion, because you have people stopping and taking pictures, dancing, making TikToks uh, in the middle of the street, right? While you're trying to get to work, trying to get to the grocery store, you have people clogging up the, the freeways and it can be a little bit hectic. Uh, thankfully here in the suburbs, Nobody really comes to the suburbs of Northern Virginia for, for tourist attractions. But when you get to DC, you start to notice that there are a lot of tourists in the national monuments and it does get pretty hectic with so many bodies moving around all the time. So if that's one thing you wanna stay away from, then uh, maybe moving further out from Florida into some of the more secluded suburbs might be an option for you or moving into the suburbs of Northern Virginia. If you like everything else you heard about Northern Virginia could also be a good option for you. But in summary, to wrap everything back up on itself, moving to Northern Virginia is gonna offer an array of job opportunities, cultural experiences, and just educational options overall, but it does come at a higher cost of living and traffic congestion, but that just goes to show how much demand there is to live here, how many people love living in this area because they either don't end up moving out or we have 
so many that do end up moving in. Uh, on the other hand, Florida does offer more of a tropical climate, beautiful beaches and a lower cost of living, but it also comes with its challenges with uh, hurricane season and uh, high humidity levels. You know, ultimately the decision between these two locations will heavily depend on your personal preferences, your career goals, your lifestyle choices. Are you looking for great schools? Are you looking for great beaches? Are you looking for a really stable job market? Or are you looking for things to do in nightlife? We do encourage you to get your boots on the ground, visit the areas, speak with residents, look at certain neighborhoods that do attract you. We also encourage you to consult with realtors, you know, professionals, people that know a lot about the area can give you the ins and outs of all the specifics. I'm, I'm a realtor in this area, so if you'd like to reach out, if you have any specific questions that pertain to you, you can always reach out. All the info is gonna be down below in the description. If you'd like me to connect you with any of my Florida uh, realtors down there, we, we do have a lot of connections down there. I'd be happy to do so if you'd like for them to answer any questions for you. But, you know, definitely speak with somebody that specializes in these regions so you can make the best decision for you and your family at the end of the day, because that's the most important part. And that's what we strive to do here on this channel. But we definitely hope you got some value out of this video. If you are thinking about moving to Northern Virginia or you have any other questions, as I mentioned, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule a zoom call we have people just like you reaching out every single day to be honest with you that are thinking about making that move here and when we get to help you guys it is truly a privilege so whether you're moving in a day a year or any time in between feel free to reach out but until then as always we hope to show you around town or we'll see you on the next video